Hello, it's been um, some time since my last video and that's because I've moved cities and states from um, Canberra to Melbourne. So, hello, thank you for being patient. And now the information that you're all waiting for. What's the difference between TV Snacks Original and TV Snacks Malt Sticks? Let's get right into it. We'll start with TV Snacks Original. It says it's 175 grams. The servings per package is about 8.6, serving size 20.4 grams. I don't know if you can see that. All right. Servings per package, about 7.8. Serving size, 22.4 grams. Interesting. So slightly different serving sizes, both 175 grams. Per 100 grams, these have more energy, more protein, more fat, and less carbs. So these are the healthier alternative. So I'm going to put them there and see if you can... I don't know if you can see the difference, but like, they're a little bit different, which is not what I was expecting. I literally thought they were the same thing in a different shape, but they're not. So look, we'll start with the original. Ah, screw it. Do it the old fashioned way. Here we go. This is an Australian icon and I would like to see what it's made actually. Made in Australia. Cool. Also made in Australia. All right, so we're trying the original. Great. Crunchy, bit of chocolate. Tastes exactly like TV snacks. A little bit malty, like a, a malt biscuit. Imagine if it was a Malteser, but the inside was like condensed into biscuit form and then had a bit more like carbs. I wasn't just sugary, like more like a biscuit. Great. You can see there's been a bit of movement in the package. Um, and it was probably warm when they um, solidified this because of some of the some of the like waxy, greasy, oily stuff is leaked out. Mm. Love these things, great stuff. Right, so that was TV Snacks Original. Now, TV Snacks Malt Sticks, which appears to be the healthier alternative. All right, the old fashioned way is. <laughs> Not working, here we go, it's open. So on appearance as well, seems like it's done a fair bit of movement and it's also got a little bit of that waxy, oily stuff about it. So either either like it was um, solidified while it was still quite warm or it's melted a bit um, in while I've had it and then it's re-solidified. I don't know. It tastes different. There's like a slightly different taste and I don't know what it is. Like it's incredibly similar, but it's, I think it's a slightly bit more crunchy. Just, just the slightest bit. 
Oh, no way. It's got dark chocolate, this one. This one's chocolate is lighter. What the hell? All right. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm trying to get like to the biscuit. Okay, so the, this one's chocolate is, is lighter, but the malt bit inside appears a tiny bit darker. I, yeah, so... So that's the original. You know what that tastes like? Hmm. Okay, so side by side, these ones are sweeter, like a tiny bit sweeter, and it probably just comes down to the difference in the chocolate. I don't think the difference in the biscuit is going to be that like life changing, but um, I was not expecting this review to be like I've always liked these ones better. Um, but I went into the video quite open-minded, but I honestly thought that I just like the shape of these better. Like this is a big, big chunk of chalky to be dealing with, but really they're like light and dark versions of the same damn thing. That is very interesting. Hmm. Well, wasn't expecting that. Thanks for listening.